Okay, this is to demonstrate the bathing system, the whole bathing system. This is, I've put in 40 mils of shampoo into this dispenser. It's going to go, you just twist it on and it goes into that. And that's controlled by my tap system, which connects to my boiler. I don't know how this angle is going to work. We'll see. Right, come on, Magnus. Up. Good boy. Come on, baby. In you go. This is Magnus. Hey, good boy. Right, get the plugs ready. The squeezy cloth that we'll use afterwards. The chamois. So the um, recirculator pump you can see is in the bottom of my tub here. Good boy. Good boy. You've been a model today. Have you been a model? So I'm just going to run the water through um, just to warm the water up. It takes a, a few seconds just to heat up. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Mm. Right, it's warm enough now. So I'm putting the plugs in to the bottom of the tub to hold this water. I'm changing the setting on this to shampoo and nice warm water with shampoo will start coming out. Stand there, baby. Good boy. Good boy. of spraying the coat down to distribute the shampoo. Stand up. Come up. Good boy. Through the coat. I'm not sure if you can see it's nice soapy water. Just running off into the tub it's quite dirty already because this water pressure has done a good job of cleaning him cleaning his coat so far he lives on a farm so he has an outdoor lifestyle as well but he's never filthy dirty can we do your muzzle good boy good boy oh, good boy it's too underground I'll try and get a shot of the water so you can see how much dirt has come off. So with a very small dog, like my last dog of the day yesterday was a tiny Yorkie cross Cairn. And I didn't use the recirculator on her. She's too skitty and it's too noisy for her. All I used was this and um, it got her lovely and clean. She's on an eight weekly schedule, so... I she only gets bathed every eight weeks, but she's never filthy. She lives in town. She has a town lifestyle. So there's still, um, obviously for a smaller dog, I would use less shampoo or product through the, the shampoo dispensing system. But for a bigger dog and... For, you know, if a dog has got even more coat than this, I would use even a little bit more shampoo. But I can see most of the shampoo has been absorbed and there's enough water in the bottom of the tub now. So that's going off. I'm going to switch it to plain water. There's two settings. There's one for water and then this one is for shampoo. So obviously when I rinse him afterwards, I only want to rinse him with plain water. Right, let's, you hang in there, my boy. 
You hang in there. You've been such a good model. You've been a good model, my darling. Good boy. So I will let me just dry my hand. Let's just see if I can show you the water. I don't know if you can see the water in the tub, but it's quite grey. So this boy, um, he comes on a six weekly schedule today. He's just in for his bath. And then at 12 weeks, he gets a trim because his coat doesn't grow too fast. He's got soft coat. Right, now I'm going to switch on. Here's my nozzle for the recirculator. And I'm going to switch it on at the wall. Good boy. Just let it run so the warm water can run through that. Good boy. So it's taking up the water that's in the tub already. There we go. And you can see it's recirculating product. As the water is running through the system, it's getting dirtier now. So, can I do it under your paw? Good boy. Good boy. Okay, Liz, can I do it under this paw? Good boy. Can I have this paw? Good boy. And this paw? Good boy. Let's do your bum and your tail. Can you do it again? runs through the pump obviously um, it's making more bubbles so the filter whoops thank you thank you Agnes the water the filter on the bottom of the pump stand for me stand good boy helps to manage the amount of bubbles because if the pump sucks up too many bubbles it gets an airlock but there's a lot of lava in the bottom of my tub um, and this is also why you need a bath riser. You don't want your dog to be standing in those bubbles because you want to be able to dry the feet. Right, I'm happy his coat is lovely and clean, so I'm going to switch off the pump. Take out the plugs. The water run out. And now I'm going to give him a rinse. And he won't need too much of a rinse because it's a very dilute product. So there's my that just let it warm up again good boy good boy there you go good boy stand there baby stand good boy good boy to get that very dilute product off him. If I felt that um, he needed extra lathering, say for his feet, stand up baby, if his feet were really dirty, I would do them by hand, but I haven't yet come across a dog where just this hands-free bathing doesn't do the trick. Oops, stand up. Yeah. Good boy. So that's him rinsed. Right. And that is pretty much it. So 